January was dry. January, um, yeah, I have nothing to say about January because if I was writing this out, it would be dot dot dot. There is nothing. There is nothing that I can tell you about January that made me happy. There are a couple of things that made me happy, but January was tough. It was rough out there. My first full year being freelance and nothing. I'm feeling very not optimistic, but it's February now, so I'm pretending this is the start of the year for me now. Things are getting better now, hopefully. I did do a couple of things in January that were nice, which you will see. Well, I say you'll see. It's just one, the, the best part of January basically for me was getting to go to the press preview of Cute for Sunset House. You'll see some little clips of that. I tried to vlog it, but I couldn't really talk because I was very excited, anxious, mixed all together. So <laughs> you'll see a series of clips of me just being very excited. I'll see you after the random sporadic vlogging I did in January for a little trinket haul at the end, as per usual, you know what I'm like. <laughs> seriously even though it gives me the most intense fear inside every single time i go to the gym i still haven't mustered the courage to be able to go to the gym by myself nonetheless okay nonetheless i'm here to show you regardless of the surprise everyone has felt for me becoming a gym girl just thought it'd be fun to show you that anxious girls do go to the gym and i will try film as much as i can of my little excursion to the gym today. I feel like going to the gym is quite a big thing for those who have anxiety and I never used to go to the gym until last year. I was avid that I was only gonna run, only did yoga at home, 
I just had this intense fear that people are looking at me, people are judging me, people think that my I look weird, people think they're going to be looking at my body. Um, and as someone who has dealt with body dysmorphia and had an eating disorder throughout her teens into her early 20s, I'm here to tell you, I am living proof, okay? I took one for the team, I did a scientific test. No one cares. Like, at the gym, I will put it out there, nobody cares. Nobody cares enough to even just think, whoosh, she's wearing a pyjama top to the gym. Yes, because sometimes I am too tired to actually put on proper gym wear. Um, so I just put a pyjama top on top of my outfit. Sue me. What are you gonna do? Nothing. People don't care, honestly. Don't come for my form. Don't come for my technique. I haven't promised you a bodybuilder physique, right? This is just what an anxious girl does at the gym to feel like I'm moving my body. And a side note, I go to the gym just to move my body. I'm not here to lose weight or anything. So if you're looking for that kind of advice, pack your horse, get, get going. Um, this is purely just to move my body and feel like I'm not rotting in bed all the time. Anxious girl rule number one before going to the gym. Have a snack before you go. Protein. Yeah, that's what the gym bros say, so that's what I do. Do I have a protein shake? No. Do I maybe eat half a pack of corn cocktail sausages? Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying this, but Sam and I discovered last year when we went to the gym that I have really large trap muscles, as in like these ones here. I'm not going to show you because it's embarrassing, but do you, you want to know why I have such large trap muscles? I'm anxious all the time. I constantly walk around like this. So, well, not constantly, but sometimes, the majority of the time I walk around like this because I'm anxious. So because I'm raising my shoulders, it's working on this muscle. So now, if I tense for you, I have the same trap muscles as like a bodybuilder at the gym. I didn't have it on my bingo card for 2024 to be a bodybuilder, but I feel like this is the way I'm going. So, I would say try keep up, but a five-year-old could probably do what I do at the gym, so prepare to be wild. <laughs>
uh, like grids. I like grids, that makes no sense. I like grid paper, like I just find it easier to draw with. On Artbox they had loads of like Rila Kuma textbooks and they've got, there's grid pages in it. And I just think it's very sweet. When you scrapbook, you need stickers. And I already have a load of stickers that I've hoarded from when I went to Japan. I love collecting, as we all know. And I just have a load of stickers that I've never used and I've saved for no reason. And I'm like, why am I saving these? I don't need all of these, but I do. Because what if an occasion arises and I'm like, why didn't I use that very specific sticker for this sole purpose? Anyway, I bought some more stickers. I got these very sweet gold foil Sanrio stickers, just every Sanrio character is on them. If you advertise a blind box to me, I'm gonna get it. They had a blind box of washi tape. So obviously I decided to go for a blind box of washi tape because I love the thrill of not knowing. So the first one is Pom Pom Purin. Sweet little orange tape with Pom Pom Purin on. Second tape is Hanyodin? Hanyodin. I know this character, but I've never had to say its name out loud. Hanyodin. That's the tape. Third tape is My Melody. I love her. It's just a nice sweet pink one. The last little washi tape is Karomi. And it's just a nice little, little purple one with little Karomi on. Last part of the haul was a Pom Pom Poen writing set. And... Basically, I just like the idea of sticking these into the scrapbook as little pockets with the envelope so you can pull things out. It's just something fun and it comes with stickers. It has a little gingham edge, which I just think is very sweet. Plus, I like writing letters to people, so if anyone wants to be my pen pal, let me know. Hopefully February is going to be more exciting. I don't know. Fingers crossed, anyways. Believe in myself February, that's what I'm going to call it. Believe in myself February, that's what I'm gonna do. So, teeny bit of a jump scare. I expected that video to end there. Uh, didn't. I, February has just continued to go downhill at a mega rate. And I just have been like, what the fuck, February. Just as much as I was, what the fuck, January. So, do you know what we're gonna do? I'm getting my fringe cut back in because what are we but just spontaneous girls that when we are in the midst of a bit of a breakdown, we get our hair cut. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna go do. <laughs>